Okay, if it wakes up, and I hope so, I think we have to be a little bit patient till the, uh, that it might happen end of May. This, I hope, is the best time because we're getting closer to the sun. Uh, so the, the light thing conditions, you know, when it sees the, lun, uh, the light to charge the batteries. And one very important parameter is the temperature of the lander. The lander temperature has to be above minus 45 degrees. And I think that's the crucial factor there. And I hope that happens. And then uh, the first thing would be just that the lander tells us it's still there alive. We hope that the battery charges and uh, that they can do a, f a few science uh, measurements again or some new ones and the new ones I would like to see is that they come get the situation that they can drill into the surface because the first attempt they just did at the end of the first science period uh, obviously the drill didn't hit the surface of the nucleus so it could be that the lander is just in a very awkward position that the drill is not long enough to touch the surface and I, but this would be the, the really one thing that uh, they should do to, to take a sample and then feed it in the in the oven where it can be heated up and analyzed. Uh, if they do that, that is for me, so to say, the greatest, and I hope they can do it. But whatever, the, if the lender wakes up, would be already an achievement just to communicate with Rosetta again or with us and uh, do a few more measurements just to, first of all, for us it would be great to demonstrate that it was uh, con <laughs> designed properly, that uh, it could go in a long sequence, that the secondary battery charges, and then, as I said, this. Uh, this one measurement of the composition of a subsurface sample that would be that would be great. In principle, if everything goes very well, yeah. how long feel I could uh, go on working, or is it just uh, one shot, one hitting, and then? No, no. I it, think if in it, principle but it could go on. If in principle it could go, go on for a few weeks, but but then we have to see how the conditions stay. Yeah, it has to charge the secondary battery, but as soon as it works, and I think that is one of the. The big point is, as soon as it reaches a certain temperature, but when it starts to work, then it's already at a high temperature level. So I think these constraints would go away, and I don't know if they can reprogram it that it yeah. <laughs> starts uh, that it would work at lower temperature. But as soon as it started by just working, it heats itself up, yeah? uh, and uh, then it depends what the conditions are with the sun and uh, how far the secondary battery will be charged. It, I don't think that it could, would go to 60 or 80 percent. I think they would be happy to, to just reach a level that they can do a few things, and then you might have to wait a couple of days again to charge it again and then start again. But uh, I think if they start and if, it's a, if it would be in June, then I would, uh, but I have to say, then you have to do a modeling how the whole thing, but I, perhaps they could go a few a couple of weeks. Are there, are there any, any means how Rosset, uh, how feel I could in principle hop out from this uh, tricky position now? Oh no, it looks that, uh, you know, the lander originally was designed to hop. <laughs> uh, this was discarded but as too complex because uh, the priority was given to anchor the lander and therefore the harpoons and if the harpoons anchor the lander you can't hop anymore, then it's fixed. But I, I think with all, if you move the lander because of the comet with the low gravity, you really get a reaction on your action. Yeah? So if they, uh, I think they still can uh, lower, they, they, they can put this hopping uh, movement in there to a certain extent. So they could trigger a few, a, a little jump. And I would say if there's, you know, if the chance that, uh, that Fili can, uh, would only work very short time. I would just, at the last resort, I would do this jump, whatever happens, it can't be worse than it is. But this is a trade-off of the lender team, so this is not my uh, yeah. decision. It, that the lender team really has to, to see if they get every, so to say, every bit out of it, or if they say we, we take a few bits and then we try to become better. And I, I would see them jump out, and the other thing is perhaps nature kicks us out, yeah. that, uh, that this uh, the area where they sit when it's heated up that it starts to become active and that could be you know just by nature that it's uh, driven up there are a lot of you, you can think about a lot of scenarios you know we do, we do not know so much about how the comet really works not yet it, it, we learn it right now uh, so you can imagine what could happen